Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on Stolen by Lucy Christopher. First of all, this book, I love the cover. Ooh, I love the color. Cover, and the color actually. Um, so I'm giving this book 3.8 stars. <laughs> 3.8 stars. So 3.8 stars for me means that it was just okay. I wanted it did it kept my attention okay and I wanted to finish it. I wanted to know what was gonna happen. But I thought it was just okay. But of course it was free from um I wanna say Amazon Prime. Anyway, so let's read the synopsis. Says it happened like this. I was stolen from an airport, taken from everything I knew, everything I was used to, taken to sand and heat, dirt and danger, and he expected me to love him. This is my story. A letter from nowhere. 16-year-old Gemma is kidnapped from Bangkok Airport and taken to the Australian outback. This wild and desolate landscape becomes almost a character in the book, so vi vividly it is described. Ty, her captor, is no stereotype. He is young, fit, and completely gorgeous. This new life in the wilderness has been years in the planning. He loves only her, wants only her. Under the hot glare of the Australian sun, cut off from the world outside, can the force of his love make Gemma love him back? This story takes the form of a letter written by Gemma to Ty reflecting on those strange and disturbing months in the outback. Months when the lines between love and obsession, love and dependency, blur until they don't exist. Almost. Yeah. So, we have Lucy, not Lucy, Gemma. Lucy wrote it. We have Gemma, who is 16, and Ty, who has stolen her from her friend. She, they're in the airport. Her family and her are in the airport in Bangkok. And she goes to the bathroom. And then she goes to get a drink. And he's sitting there. And basically he drugs her and he kidnaps her. Um, takes her to the Austra Australian outback. And to this um, fortress that he has built. And he's keeping her there against her will. Now uh, Ty is a little bit unhinged. <laughs> um, but he's very sweet and he's very nice. Like he doesn't want to hurt her, right? But she's a Gemma is a fighter, so she hurts him for sure. But there's nowhere for her to go. She try she escapes, but there's nowhere for her to go. All there is is sand and heat and rocks and boulders and such. And so she does escape, and he lets her, but he knows there's nowhere for her to go. So what does that happens? She, she walks for a couple of days in the desert, and then he ends up finding her, and she's half dead, basically. So he rescues her, brings her back, blah, 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 and all this. So the story is basically a letter that she's writing to Ty. Um, but it's not really wrote in letter form, which is good, because I don't like books like that. It's more wrote like a story. And um, I don't know. I think the reason... Main reason I gave it 3.8 stars is because it was kind of, um, it lacked feeling for me. Like, I didn't really care anything about either one of the, the characters, I guess. I mean, the whole book is about the two characters. I didn't really <clears throat> connect with either one. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Ty is... Um, has some mind problems <laughs> because he was in foster care for a while, which you know will jack you up. Um, and then he lived on the street and he did things he wasn't proud of. And anyway, it just kind of messed him up. So when he sees Gemma at age 10 um, in a park where he's sleeping, so he's quite a few, I want to say he's like eight or nine years older than her maybe, something like that. Uh, he remembers her and then he starts stalking her and at age 16, is when she, he takes her, basically. Um, so, like I said, I didn't really connect with either one of the characters. Like, I didn't really care one way or another. And that's kind of why I gave it 3.8 stars. It was just okay. I wanted to know what was going to happen. But otherwise, it just I didn't think it was that great. I wouldn't... Um, 
you it, you might like it. I mean, I'm not going to say I don't recommend it, um, but I would not read another book by Lucy Christopher. I know that just based off of this one. But is it still? It was worth reading. I would say it was worth reading because I finished it. So it was it was okay. Three point eight stars. Um, so I have to say the the cover grabbed me. That was one reason why it was one of the books that I downloaded on my Kindle before vacation. I downloaded, downloaded this one and The Dream Daughter by um, Diane Chamberlain, which was very good, by the way, um, and some other ones. And um, yeah, I read uh, two books on vacation. I didn't think I was going to read anything. And then I ended up, I did at night in the hotel. So do you do that? Do you take books with you on vacation? I do. But the, the wonderful thing about Kindles is now you can just download four or five books and you have something to choose from. So if you're like me, I might start a book and go, I don't like this. So I just quit reading it. <laughs> Which I didn't do on this one, so that tells you I liked it a little bit, right? <laughs> so that is it. That's all I got, guys. If you like this video, how about a like? And while you're here, how about a subscribe? Don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up soon. Thanks friends. I'll see you next time.